guys, it's Nick from ReviewOutlaw.com. Today, today I want to show you how to purchase EOS. EOS, it's um, a decentralized coin, and if you look at Coin Market Cap, it's uh, top 10 right now, um, and it's actually had a pretty good jump today. Um, so, you know, generally, me personally, when I look at what coins I want to get, I try to get something in the top 10, maybe the top 20, but I try to stick around this number just because of how much the market caps are um, and that way kind of all the crap has already been sifted out not to say that there isn't some coins in here maybe that I don't want like Bitcoin gold but um, yeah, for the most part many many people have already researched these so they're just not utter garbage uh, and it has a higher probability of staying around so let's look at how we want to buy it so um, the easiest way to do it is if you have the um, uh, wallet here the um, uh, Exodus wallet, you can actually um, kind of tra tra trade through here um, and it has all these different coins and stuff like that. Um, so you could send, receive and stuff through the um, Exodus wallet. And so to get that, you can just type in Exodus and there you go. You can download that for free. The problem is right now, if you go to exchange, um, so if I want to exchange Bitcoin, for Exodus, it's not available right now. So that's been unavailable for like a couple weeks. So I still want to buy some coin. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go to this website called Gate.io. You can sign up for a free account um, and you don't have to verify any information. It's pretty easy to sign up, Gate.io. And you can purchase a bunch of different coins. Um, and so where we can purchase this coin is we go to BTC Market and we can find the EOS right here. And we can see this is available. The second thing you want to make sure is that you can actually withdraw. So on Gate.io, there's some coins you can't withdraw from. Um, so you could buy it, but I, I don't want to keep any coins on exchange if I can avoid it. So you can search here, EOS, and you can see that this withdraw button is available. I've already done a test transaction of about $100 just to see how that went. Put $100 of Bitcoin in, transfer it to EOS, and made sure that I could receive it in my Exodus wallet, and it did receive which is good. Um, so another example is ADA, and that, that'd be something that you can purchase, but you can't actually withdraw to your own wallet. It's too new of a coin. So um, that's something to be aware of. If you do use this particular exchange or any exchange, really just make sure you can withdraw it to your own, own, um, own wallet here. So what we're gonna do first is we want to deposit. So you're gonna go to balances. Bitcoin, and if you had a Coinbase account or anything like that, you're going to want to deposit Bitcoin. Make sure it's not Bitcoin Cash that you're sending. Stick with Bitcoin. Deposit. And this is going to be the address that you're depositing to. And then you're going to go to here and you're going to hit send Bitcoin address. So you're sending that amount. I've already done $100. I'm just going to do 900, see how much that would go for. So look, you also always want to look at your fees and your fees would be uh, 15 bucks, around 15 bucks right now. So that's something to be aware of um, when you send these money. Sometimes it could be extremely high. I've seen it up to $50. So just be aware of that. Then you, in that case, you could do Litecoin or something, another different coin instead. But we'll send that now. And that, that's probably going to take about 20 minutes, maybe an hour to, to finally settle in this account to the point where I can, uh, it gets confirmed and then I can uh, start trading. Okay, so the, it uh, processed the funds. So we can see here, I transferred $900, but this is what ended up being an account. Some of that is fees and some of that is Gate.io might calculate the price of Bitcoin differently or if the Bitcoin uh, dropped in value, you know, last hour. So here's how we now uh, purchase. Um, so we can go here and he, he so, and we can hit trade. Um, so this is going to be, so this is going to be where we want to trade it. Um, and we can hit BTC and make sure that you're not using the UST version. We, we have BTC in here. 
So here's how much the balance is. The easiest thing to do is actually just click on the full balance if that's the full amount you want. It'll show you how much you can buy. And this is gonna to try to choose the best rate currently right now. You could slightly lower this if you wanted to try to, you know, like you could go down a couple of pennies and things like that. This is the buy and sell. So I'm gonna get into the, the two specifics. Easiest thing to do again is just to click on it and it'll tell you how much you can buy. Hit buy, confirm the order. And under here, you're gonna see the orders uh, working. And then once it finishes, it'll uh, say complete. And that can actually went very quick here. Um, and you can see it's doing a couple different amounts. So first was 44 and then 13. So they gave me my full amount. So now we're gonna withdraw. And to do that, we go to wallets. We can see we have right here. And again, every time you trade, you lose a little bit of money here. You see it dropped $5. That's just some of the fees and things like that. When you trade, um, that's something to be aware of. So now we're gonna open the wallet up and I'm gonna get the send address. So you're gonna get withdraw. And I have the address saved from last time, but you're gonna put the amount in and the amount you can just highlight. So whole amount. And you can put in the password and always recommend enabling two-factor. So we're gonna click receive, copy this address, copy paste. And when you paste it in, always make sure you check the last couple digits and the first couple digits. Memo, I just leave blank, you get the full amount, fun password and the two-factor. And then the request has been successfully submitted. And it goes pretty quick, but it's gonna end up in my wallet. Okay, as you can see here, we finally received it in my Exodus wallet. Um, and it's about worth 9.48, and I already had 100, uh, about $100. So, you know, it dropped about $50 in fees and transactions and, and possibly uh, the price of EOS or Bitcoin dropping a bit. But over time, you know, over a year period, I'm hoping this obviously goes up. So if you guys have any questions for me at all, please leave it in the comments. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you have time, please subscribe to my channel, click here to watch more videos, or please give me a thumbs up. Thanks.